8.5 properties of logarithms. So let's take a look now at some of the different properties of logarithms that we have. Um, the first property is the product property of logarithms. And basically what that's saying is when you have a log and you have two items that you can multiply together, uh, basically what that is saying is that you can split those two up uh, and make addition in between them. So what that means is with u times v, I would rewrite that as uh, with an addition sign. So it would be log base b u plus log uh, base b v. So you just kind of split them up. Um, with these properties, what I want you to keep in mind is that you can use the properties uh, both ways. As in, if I give you a problem that has addition in between them, then you can combine them with multiplication. So please keep that in mind. These properties work both ways. So if I had log base 2, 3x, I could separate that into log base 2, 3 plus log base 2, x. That's the point here that I'm getting at. We can separate the two items um, with an addition sign in between. The quotient property is the same, it's just in reverse. Up here we had multiplication, right? u times v, and when we have multiplication we separated it with addition. Well down here with division we're now going to separate it with subtraction. So basically what that means is you take log base b of the top minus log base b of the bottom is basically what you're doing there with the quotient property. So an example we have here is log base 4 uh, 32 over 56. So I can do log base 4 32 minus log base 4 56 because of the division sign there. And this just might make it easier to solve each item separately. The power of property um, states that you can take the exponent and you just move it out in front when we're talking about logs. So what that means is I just take whatever the exponent is, in this case it's an n, and I just move it out in front. And once again, keep in mind every single one of these properties works in reverse. If I had a number out in front, I could move that into an exponent. If I had subtraction here, I could rewrite it as division. Okay. If I had addition, I can rewrite it as multiplication. So keep each of these in mind. So basically what this is saying is log base 3 x squared means I take 2 and I move it to the outside so it'll be 2 log th uh, base 3x. So dealing with example 1 here um, we have two different logs right and it's just something for you to keep in mind that we're talking about two different logs here. Um, what we're going to do is if I said log base 5 3 over 7 um, I could type that in and try to find the answer. I could do log 3 7 divided by log 5 to get my answer. Or what this says up here is, it says that log base 5 3 is roughly 0.683 and log base 5 7 is roughly 1.209. So to make the math easier, what I could do here is because there's a subtraction sign there, or sorry, because there is a division sign there, I can separate these in terms of subtraction. So I can basically do log base 5 3 minus log base 5 7. Since I know log base 5 3 is 0.683 and I know that this log base 5 7 is 1.209 basically all I'm saying is I take each of those and subtract them to get negative 0.526. If I had this one what I'm saying that we can do is it's a 21 right so since it's a 21 how exactly could I separate this into anything but Look at this. I have a 3 and a 7. I have my log base 5 in terms of a 3 and a 7. So if I wanted to, I could rewrite this 21 as log base 5, uh, 3 times 7. And since it's multiplication, I could then pull these apart with addition. And since I know that log uh, base 5, 3 is 0.683 and log base 5, 7 is 1.209, I can add those two items together to get one point. With this one, looking at this, I might not be able to rewrite it, uh, the number as in with a, a 3 and a 7 together, but I could rewrite it with just 7's, right? 7 times 7 is 49, so if I separate this 49, 
I could separate it as 7 times 7. And since it's multiplication, I can thus separate it with addition according to the rule that we just went over with the properties. I'd have log uh, base 5, 7 plus log base 5, 7. And since each of those is 1.209, I'm basically saying 1.209 plus 1.209, which is 2.418. Uh, when we come back, we will finish up uh, the rest of um, 8.5, and we'll be back in a minute.